Good morning, this is Michelle Goddard. I just finally got around to doing another video post and this morning I really wanted to talk about um, ego and the self-limiting beliefs that we have that are making all the excuses to stop us in our businesses. And the reason I just suddenly wanted to do this this morning is I'm currently reading a book by Eckhart Tolle. It's uh, this one here. And, uh, it's called uh, Awakening to Your Life's Purpose and I'm only a few chapters into it but it's really interesting to me the description and the discussion about ego that he has in there because when we think about ego, when I think about ego anyway, I think about people that are very egotistical and to me that means somebody that is always right and kind of arrogant and they think they know better than everyone else, they're superior to everyone else. And actually, when you start to read through the book, it, it's true, that's all true. We, we all have that in us, really. If you think about the last time you had an argument with your other half, or your mother-in-law, or your sister, or brother, or best friend, we really have this, it seems that we have this innate desire and insistence on being right. Like, we're quite often fighting to the death to be right about something, rather than just live in peace you know rather than just go okay I, I, I see your point yeah you're totally right we really resist that a lot at least I certainly do <laughs> anyway, so I realize yeah most of the arguments I have with my husband they're all about me being right and even if somewhere along the line I realize mm, probably I'm not actually right and he has a point I'll still fight to the end of the argument to make sure I get my point across so starting to realize that that is you know in everyone and the ego plays a huge part in our in our thinking and Eckhart Tolle starts to explain that actually the, the thinking is your ego. Your thinking and your beliefs and your identification with your role as a, a, a woman or man, a mother or father, a sister brother, as a, an American or an English person, uh, as a white person or a black person, all of these identifications are not really who we are. We start to attach ourselves to these identities. And it can also manifest in the form of your opinions, your your lifestyle, your even your belongings and your status and your car. You know, you start to attach these things to who you are. And, and they're just, you know, they're not who you are at all. Who you are is, is so much deeper down inside you than that. So what I wanted to to discuss is the, the self-limiting beliefs that come from the ego um, because the thinking is if the thinking is not who you are and that's something a little bit deeper inside then what you need to do is become aware of your thinking and your thought processes if next time you're having a bad day just think God, am I I'm just having one negative thought after another if you can just get that little bit of distance and realize that it's the thinking that's having that knock-on that knock effect in your day and leading to more and more negative thinking so that the whole day is kind of ruined by this thought process. If you can realise that that's more about your thinking that the, than the events that are actually happening to you, it might not be that your boss has got it in for you or the universe has got it in for you or, or everything bad happens to you and you have no luck. It may just be that your thinking is focusing on the negative and not seeing any of the positive. And if you can just get away from that a little bit, then your day will surely improve and your life will surely improve. These are some of the things I've, I've been reading and realizing lately that I'm really trying to um, harness. And <laughs> my, uh, my plan for Lent is to give up complaining for Lent. So that is pretty tough, right? Giving up chocolate is hard, but giving up complaining, woo! it's going to be a challenge I'll tell you what so trying to yeah just distance myself a little bit from the thinking and be aware of the thinking and the thought processes and starting to question those thought processes and the beliefs to say is that really true you know am I really having a terrible day or am I just starting to bring in all the old baggage all the previous experiences of bad days and the previous things that happened to me and attaching those to the events of this moment and saying oh this always happens to me but it doesn't necessarily follow that if you're having a bad day it's because you are just the unluckiest person in the world and everybody's got it in for you it's probably just that your negative thinking 
is starting to affect your perspective and the ego has a lot to do with that and if we can just get away from that a little bit and try to think a lot more positively um, then it will probably have, have, help us in our businesses and it was just one other thing I wanted to point out before I go and that is we all at some point have many challenges in our businesses we have bad days we have critics we just start to think oh this i've got this nagging doubt in the back of my mind that i just can't do this that i'm just not cut out for it i haven't got the skills or the or the energy or the time i mean everybody says we never have enough time of course instead of having that nagging doubt at the back of your mind that you don't think you're going to ma manage this what if we were to flip that around and say I've got this nagging doubt in the back of my mind that actually I might be able to do this. I might be a success. With all the challenges that I have, which everybody else has in their businesses too, just imagine if that nagging doubt in the back of your mind instead said, do you know what, I can't give up because I've got this little voice in my head that's saying, what if I can do it? What if I can be successful? What if I can beat the whole negative thinking thing and overcome some of these self-limiting beliefs and actually get myself into a position where I am able to make a success for my business. I am able to do videos and positive, um, positive thinking and the public speaking, that's what I'm trying to get at. If I can do public speaking, all the things that you've, thinking, you've been thinking in advance were just your stumbling blocks. What if those actually, you could, sorry about this sound, what if you could overcome those and get somewhere and actually make, make a success of your business? And it might take a growth period, you know, it takes time, there's a very steep learning curve in internet marketing uh, and network marketing, but just, just for today, just think that nagging voice in the back of your head, instead of being negative, is thinking, what if I could be a success? So I'm going to leave it at that because the sun's right in my eyes now and I'm going to have to go. But um, this is Michelle Goddard from michellegoddard.com and it's great talking to you. I will be posting another video soon, so keep a lookout. Thank you.